Hey guys, welcome back to the Rand family. So today's video is going to be a full review on the curriculum that I'm currently using for my girls. So if you're new here, hi, my name is Brittany. I do have three girls, Jade who is one, Aurora who is four, and Layla who is eight years old. So I do homeschool my kids. This curriculum is for my eight-year-old daughter, Layla. So this curriculum that I'm using now is called Moving Beyond the Page. I'll have everything linked down below if I can. So. Let's just go ahead and jump right into the unboxing because it's kind of a lot and all of my kids are in the playroom so you'll probably hear them throughout this video. So the first thing that comes in it is a little catalog. It just kind of gives you some more info on the curriculum that you chose and then I just believe it has like some resources in here. Kind of gives you like an introduction and then it also shows you all of the other different curriculums that they offer. So the first things I'm going to show you guys is all of like the main like workbooks and stuff, like all of the things that you'll be teaching your child. And then lastly, I'll jump into like the fun stuff, like all of the books. So the thing with moving beyond the page is everything meets the same common core standards that your child would have to meet if they go to public school. So all of this stuff is for a full school year. You don't really need any other materials, which is what I love about moving beyond the page. It comes with like everything. It comes with a um, student workbook and then it also comes with the teacher manual. It's pretty explanatory so you don't really have to do like any guessing work on what to teach your child and stuff because it kind of really breaks it down for you guys so i'll show that to you guys here in a second i'll give you guys like some examples with the workbooks so really the only stuff that you'll ever need with moving beyond the page is just like basic stuff such as like pencils um erasers coloring um pencils markers just little things like that you'll need but for the most part it comes with everything so i'm gonna just start grabbing i'm not gonna go in any particular order so again it comes with a parent manual and then it comes with the student activity book so here's what the student activity book looks like this one is matter and movement i'm not sure if i said this but this curriculum is for ages six to eight my daughter is currently in second grade so this one is matter and movement this is the student book so the first unit in this book is states of matter and here's some examples of what your child will be doing so that's all of the worksheets that your child will be doing and then it comes with the parent manual to kind of like walk you through and guide you on how to teach your child and it really like breaks it up so that way you don't have to like guess how much you should be teaching your child throughout the week it kind of breaks it down like day one day two and then it also gives you a breakdown of everything you will need before you start the unit so for example it tells you the required books that you're going to use in this unit so it gives you the whole list and then all of the books do come in this box too so you just have to you know go through your list before you start the unit find all of the books and materials that you need and then it also gives you the material list so it breaks down everything that you're going to need in this unit so it gives you like all of the common materials such as like water um, colored pencils it says a scale measuring cup tablespoon a light bulb a ruler cooking oil so a lot of this stuff you should probably already have in your house and a lot of it also comes in the box too which i'll show you guys towards the end of this video and then it just like gives you a breakdown of the lessons in the units and then it gives you a breakdown of what you need in lesson one and then lesson two also gives you a breakdown of what you need so it's very um like broken down for you so you don't ever really have to do any guessing on what you need to teach your child and then it also gives you like a vocabulary sheet of what your child should know at the end of the unit and then it gives you a unit review sheet too of everything that is going to be taught so then after you read through the required materials and the material list then it starts on the lessons and again it's very broken down so it tells you questions to explore gives you facts and definitions that way in case you know yourself need a little review before you start teaching your child it gives you some like um definitions right here so it gives you like the definition of matter for example and it explains it to you and then it gives you a breakdown of the skills that your sh child should be learning this unit and then it gives you again another little breakdown of the materials that are needed in lesson one 
and then it gives you a little introduction to give you like some info and background on what you're going to be teaching in this lesson and then it breaks down the activity so there's activity one you can do that on one day activity two you can do it the next day and then it also gives you options too so usually for each activity option one is like the easier version and then option two is kind of like the harder version for your child so it gives you two different options on how to teach your child and then those two different options are available in the student activity book so for example here is one of the option ones so as you can see it has like pictures down here for your child to cut out and then they will glue them according to which category it goes into so pretty easy because it already gives you the pictures but option two is a little bit more difficult because your child actually has to come up with the pictures that go into here so it's a little bit more challenging so that's usually how the activities are is there's two options depending on you know how your child is doing so that's kind of a breakdown of like the lessons in the unit hopefully that wasn't too confusing and i explained it really good if you guys do have questions you can always leave them down below in the comments and i'll try to get back to you as quickly as i can so that was the matter and movement so since i kind of broke it down to you guys already i'm gonna just kind of breeze through this a little bit faster so the next one is math so again the student activity book and then the parent manual and then there is another math one that first one that i showed you is semester one and then this is semester two so parent and student culture parent and student one then there's community to learn about you know like doctors and firefighters then there is relationships so that was all of the student parent workbooks that you'll be using to teach your child for a full school year i know it is a lot don't let it intimidate you i promise it just really breaks it down for you and makes it so easy for you to teach your child so the next thing that came in the box is a interactive notebook and this is for your child i'll just read it for you guys that way you know exactly what it is so the interactive notebook is a tool to help your child more clearly understand the concepts she's studying in the math curriculum each math unit contains activity pages designed for your child to complete and insert into the notebook for future reference. These pages will help her review the key terms, concepts, and strategies covered in each unit. So it's just a notebook for your child to put their stuff in there. I am so sorry, you guys, that my kids are being loud in the background. So that was all of the parent and student like workbooks that came in the box. So now I'm gonna show you guys some of the books that come in your box. So what I really love about this curriculum is you really get a ton of books and the Moving Beyond the Page curriculum is really literature based. There's lots of reading for your child to do and just some really outstanding books such as this one, which you guys are probably familiar with, The Giving Tree, really great book. So there's just a ton of books so i'm gonna try to go through it really quickly i'm not really gonna take you guys like in depth in the books because there's a lot so i'm gonna try to go through this as quickly as possible so there's the giving tree life cycles river sylvester and the magic pebble the little house telling time does the sun sleep that's a shapes book Move It, Motion, Forces, and You. So a science book. Physics, What's the Matter? If You Give a Pig a Pancake. I love this book when I was little. Home. This one looks like an interesting book. Lily's Purple Plastic Purse. Bartholomew and the Ooblick. Dr. Seuss book, Children's Picture Atlas, Your Life as a Settler in Colonial America, A Child's Calendar, this one is Poems, Africa is Not a Country, 
explore Asia, explore South America, oh say can you see, Christmas around the world, that one looks like a really fun book to read, The Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulane, you can use a balance, so now we're getting into some math books, and history, The Seven Continents, Ellis Island, How Long or How Wide, A Measuring Guide, The Story of Ruby Bridges, The Greedy Triangle, so shapes, Grandfather Tang's Story, Subtraction Action, The Coin Counting Book, Mission Edition, Sunshine Makes the Seasons, What is the World Made of, All About Solids, Liquids, and Gases, Forces Make Things Move, Everybody Needs a Rock, Lemonade for Sale, Earth Day, You're Aboard Spaceship Earth, more or less, three young pilgrims, why mosquitoes buzz in people's ear, yes Shin, a Cinderella story from China, this one looks really interesting, I feel like she'll really love that one, the armadillo from Armarillo, the Egyptian Cinderella, Looks like a really interesting one too. The Irish Cinder Cinderlad, <laughs> Paul Bunyan. And that was the last book. So as you can see, tons and tons of amazing books. So the last things I have to show you is the materials that come with the curriculum. So I have a few things. So the first thing is a magnifying glass. There's a hexagram weights, so it has 21 gram masses, 25 grams, 10, 10 grams, 4, 20 grams. So there's a total set weight of 300 grams. Then there's a primary bucket balance. So this measures solids and liquids. And then, this is the math materials kit. So here's what the kit looks like. So everything that you're going to need to teach your child math for this curriculum is in this box. So there's some dry erase markers. There's some number cards, paper plates. There's some dominoes in here, a little clock to teach your child how to tell time, popsicle sticks, some money, a roll of masking tape, some counting blocks, some more counting blocks, there's some addition and subtraction cards i believe some ribbon i know some of this stuff may seem random but it all makes sense whenever you start teaching your child out of the workbooks because again it gives you like the full breakdown of the material list before you start teaching your child so you'll be able to pull everything that you need before you start teaching your child so there's also rubber bands in here there's some little like of these counters my kids really love these i think they're really cool um, paper clips, some dice, some toothpicks, um, a measuring tape, um, I think a deck of cards, there's a block set, it teaches sorting, classification, and size comparison. Double sided geo board. There's two of them. There's an abacus in here. There's some domino cards. Um, subtraction cards. So I think the other ones I showed you are just addition. 
There's some sticky post-its, some more number cards, some index cards. There's a very cool collapsible ruler. There's like just your basic ruler. Some straws in here. A um, dry erase board. And then there's some like construction paper. Um, just like other paper. There's a timeline in here. And then there's a little calendar that you can hang up in your homeschool room or just around your house. And then it also came with some other posters too. I'm not 100% sure what's in here. So this is 100 words to read and spell. I'm dropping things. So it's just a poster that has a bunch of words that your child should know. So that's a really good one to hang up. So that is actually everything that came in this curriculum box. I hope this was helpful for you guys. I know a lot of you are looking into homeschooling, especially with everything going on around the world. So hopefully this was helpful. Like I said, I will try to link as much as I can down below in the description box. I will also link down below the school that I actually homeschool through. So all that info will be found in the description box. If you guys still have a question, feel free to leave it down below in the comment. But as always, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the Moran family and make sure you hit that bell. That way you guys always get notified every single time I upload and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.